In the Kasita Mountains of Chongzuo, Guangxi Province, lives a group of critically endangered white-headed langur monkeys. Next to their natural habitat, Professor Pan Wenshi of Peking University established the Biodiversity Research Institute to protect the monkeys and their environment. As volunteers, we were lucky enough to spend a few days with the monkeys and helped collecting data for the professor's research. The white-headed langur monkeys eat mostly leaves and one of them was kind enough to demonstrate how they eat for the camera. Other than leaves, the monkeys also eat peas from the trees. I wasn't able to get a good footage of them eating peas, so I tried my best to demonstrate for you. <laughs> Close to dinner time, we went to one of the watchtowers to observe the monkeys returning to their caves. So 就这个种群数呢，现在已经达到了十，就是十倍以上。零五零六年，你你想，你走到我们说母母子山那一带，你想要看到猴子是非常困难的一件事情。但现在基本上就是说，你都还是能经常看得到。The adult monkeys are overall black with white crown cheeks and neck. And the more mature they are, the more black their tails are. Such protective coloration helps them blend in with the rocks from afar. The baby monkeys are golden where they're born and will gradually turn black and white as they grow older.
The monkeys are very smart and noticed that there were a few new people on the team. So they went to bed a bit later on our first night and decided to jump closer to us so we could have another look at their eating habits. The next morning, before seeing the monkeys, we were greeted by the geese living in the pond of the institute. <laughs> On some days, especially when it's rainy, the monkeys will sleep in and leave home later than usual. Finally, the mothers have come out with their babies for a new day of adventures in the mountains. <laughs> 